In light of the coronavirus pandemic, it is much more difficult for addicts to hide it from their families. Here in Jacksonville, overdose calls jumped 20% last month alone. Online alcohol sales are up nationally 243%. Joining us on the morning show, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Lanty jordan D with the local treatment center Lakeview Health. Doctor, thanks very much for being here. Now, one of the biggest challenges is that office visits have been converted to telehealth, but that hardly equals in-person therapy that, you know, th models that thrive on the power of togetherness and social connection. So how do you bridge that gap? Uh, that's a great question. So we actually are finding out that telemedicine works much better than we even imagined. Though people still don't have that in-person experience we're able to actually hold virtual group support meetings, both for families and patients, and actually anybody in the community that would like to join. And that kind of virtual support, even though we're all isolated in our own you know, rooms or home offices, we still have a really um, good turnout. People are really finding it very beneficial because given how much social isolation we have been through over the last eight weeks, people are just craving to have that connection, even if it seems to be virtual. So we're really having some good success rates. And knowing that there's been kind of even a spike in overdose uh, deaths from the addiction due to everybody being isolated and being locked up in their homes, I think this is uh, more important than ever for us to have this available. So even with social distancing, we're all finding new reservoirs of strength. Yeah, we have to be flexible and creative, and that's what my team at uh, Lakeview has been doing. We've just been kind of just really being as flexible as we can to hold even like family virtual workshops because we can't have families on site right now due to the, uh, the pandemic. So that has been actually a terrific turnout. In fact, families love it because they can be with their loved ones, obviously not in person, but nobody's at risk to get sick. And there's really good uh, good things happening there. People are really connecting with each other. They're understanding um, relationships better. So it's been very successful, more so than I ever thought it would be with the telemedicine piece. And I think this is uh, really a new frontier going forward. We've seen a lot of the relaxation of telemedicine and hopefully that will stay because we will be able to use this tool to a greater benefit. When I say relaxation, I mean there's, there's less regulation and, and laws around it than we used to have. How about those who need more intensive treatment? So I, I, I think that it's most important for people to understand if they need to be treated, let's say they need detox. Detox is very unsafe to do at home. You don't want to do it by yourself. Let's say you're, you're struggling with alcohol or even opiates. It's so important to get an inpatient stay. So seeking treatment where you can be supervised medically is, is very, um, very important. It can keep you safe. And uh, what I always tell people is that even though it sounds odd to say, well, you need to seek medical treatment for, for addiction in the middle of a pandemic, we actually are open here in, in Jacksonville. We've been very fortunate to be able to test everybody that comes in for coronavirus so we can keep our community safe and patients are safe from getting infection, yet we can still do the, the medical detox that they're going to need. And you so know, that's been very successful. It, it, it's ironic because you have the person who suffers the addiction. That addiction also impacts the families. And throughout this safe at home time that we've had, it's opened up channels of communication that may not have existed otherwise. It is. People are, you know, they're very close quarters and they're starting to have honest conversations and uh, I think it's very hard to hide an addiction when you're in the same household with everybody else for you know 24 hours at a time and there's very little break from that so people really are starting to see behaviors that in their loved ones that they didn't realize were there and I think that like like you're saying it strikes up a good conversation and people are understanding how serious this can be with this pandemic I think I, I know we'll get through it as a country, as a state, as a county, we'll be okay, we'll, we'll beat this infection, but I feel that there's gonna be a second wave of mental health and uh, addiction that follows behind it because of all the financial issues, the massive unemployment we're seeing, the social isolation. I think we'll see spikes in suicides and definitely uh, spikes in, tr in people needing treatment for addiction. It's just a natural kind of event that follows this kind of major catastrophe. You're right, and that's why we mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, 
have to listen to what those who are close to us are saying and look for the signs so we can keep those lines of communication open. Appreciate your Absolutely. time. Absolutely. If Thank you, you or so someone much. you know needs help, you can find more information at lakeviewhealth.com or steppingstonecenter.com. We'll be right back with more of the morning show.